Hello from Tokyo. Today I'm going to reuse this canvas which I've painted in turquoise green by Amsterdam. And I'm going to reuse also these paints which were base colors for previous paintings. Um, they're all the same consistency of light yellow, pastel pink, pastel blue, and white. And these are all mixed with this PVA glue and water mixture, 70% PVA glue and 30% water. And I have all these paints, which um, have been in these cups for a while, which I'd like to use in this painting today. So I haven't decided exactly which ones I'm going to use yet, but it'll be probably some pink and the bronze rather than the copper, maybe for the middles of the flowers. I'm definitely going to use gold and silver and uh, maybe this glowing peach by Arteza. Not sure if I'm going to use that pearl violet and probably not the magenta. Anyway, I just had them all out and I've got some Floetrol in those colors just to thicken it a little bit. So this is how thin the base color is. So once the base has been laid down and the corners and sides have been fixed and the air bubbles have been torched out, it's time to swoosh on the colors today. I'm doing it a bit differently, I'm experimenting. Here is the white and then we have a little bit of the yellow pale yellow and popping out some more of the air bubbles I had a lot in the yellow and then I will use the pink I'm not going to use the light blue in the end so now I'll add a couple of the metallics the gold and some silver as well I'm just adding a little bit of pearl white to the edges, only the edges, and that should look nice when it blows out. So now that's done, it's time to blow all of the paint out at once. And then we will balloon smash. There's so much paint on the canvas here, so hopefully the balloon will pick a lot of it up. Here we go with the first balloon smash. And I'll do a couple more before centering them by dabbing my finger in the middle of the flowers. It does seem to be much faster if you do lay down all the paint in a swoosh like this um, and then do the balloon smash rather than individual blobs but this time I'm actually going to add some more color and re-smash for some of the flowers too so we'll see how that goes it's an experiment again today and I'm re-smashing on the same spot here because I don't think enough paint came up the first time round, so that's better. And I am wiping the balloon after each smash in this painting. I'm gonna re-smash this flower too and pull up some more of that paint. And then I'll be adding more color to it and to do like a second layer of um, uh, petals. See if this will work. So here's some light pink and some darker pink and that's pearl white and a bit of silver and gold and I'll blow it out a little bit. 
And then we'll smash that and see what the effect is. So here we go. So you can see the additional petals there. And that's on the bottom of the balloon. So I'll do this to a couple more of the flowers. It does add extra darker pink and light pink petals. And of course, you'll see this better when we go down for the um, close up of the wet finish. So let's see how the next balloon smash goes. Yep, it's worked here as well. So that's really cool. Um, so one more flower and then I'll fix the middles. That can take some time, so I'll be fast forwarding and just showing a little bit of it. And then um, we'll go and look at the wet finish. So after adding a bit of pollen to the center of the flowers, let's look at the wet finish. Oh, I had a little booboo to try and fix there, so I'm hoping that that's going to dry flat, but I don't know. We shall see. Let's have a look at these flowers. Look at that. Isn't it really pretty? At the moment, we'll see what happens when it dries, but can you see that extra layering? The colors really are so pretty. I love that. I love the fine white lines as well. Super cool. I wasn't sure about the yellow at first, but now it works. And here I left it just pretty much silver. So that'll be interesting to see how it dries. And I love that effect there on the left, that pink. I don't know if it's the water or something that made it kind of bleed a bit. It looks really cool. I love that. This is worth trying. I'm going to definitely try this again on um, a fresh canvas. <laughs> I can see some sort of cells as well. That's interesting. Some white bubbly cells as well. Let's have a look at this from the opposite direction going upwards. And now let's look at the dried finish. Now, as it was a reused canvas, you can see what's underneath because the paints I use are so thin, right? So it doesn't cover it all up, but it doesn't matter. This is a practice run. So let's have a closer look at the layering that happened. So this is how it dried. I love how the yellow dried actually, it's really cool. Um, it's nice to see the green come through. And you can see that pink layering. It's like a transparent, translucent pink, even if it's not, it's an opaque color. So interesting there too. Can you see the pink there? Really cool, love that. And even the thin white lines there and the thin yellow lines, super nice. Can you see the kind of bubbly cells happening up there, the white? And I love that pearl white as well. Really nice. And there again, that dark pink overlay. Really lovely middle on that white section there. Yes, the colors really do go here. Never mind the bumpiness <laughs> from the painting below. I wasn't sure if the colors were translating through the screen, so I've taken the camera out to the balcony. So we're having a quick look over here. I think maybe you can see the colors a bit better. At least the turquoise looks brighter out here, for sure. 
So what did you think of the technique today? Will you give it a go too with swooshing the paint down the canvas first? And would you try and do a double smash by adding extra colored paints? It looks really effective. I'm definitely going to have another go at this. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.